everybody and welcome to this year's Christmas special. So in today's video we're going to run my Mammoth TE1A traction engine. So first of all we're going to take off the safety valve and pour some water into the boiler. Thankfully it comes with a comb to pour the water in and I prefer to use kettle water. The boiler is now filled up so let's get on to putting the meth into the burner. We first take out the little back tray which is quite handy actually to hold little bits in it. Now here we go, this is our meth here, methylated spirits just so you're not confused. I'm just going to pour it very gently, not that I did it on the video, gently, and it's just going to be poured into the meth burner. Lovely, lovely job. We're now going to put the meth burner into the firebox. We've now lit the fire and we just have to wait for it to build up steam now. You can just see the fire burning there inside the firebox. It's usually invisible but this time there's a bit of flame. You can usually tell the boiler pressure by pulling on the whistle. However, it doesn't seem to be high enough yet to run. However, the safety valve does seem to be bubbling up. Still though, the whistle doesn't seem to be working. There we go, now it's working. Lovely chirping whistle. Still not running though, I need to wait for the boiler pressure to raise a bit. Now we've got it running, underneath the shelter due to the extreme high winds. And look at that, lovely running. Or better in reverse, but certainly runs well. The whistle seems to be priming a bit, but usually just starts to go away once some of the water's already been boiled up. This type of mammoth steam engine is a TE1A, and mine was built in 1971. My type of mammoth steam engine is an oscillating cylinder variant. So that means steam only comes in once, and the rotation of the wheel comes back, so then the steam can come in again. You can see it doesn't run very well in forwards, but usually after steaming up again it runs rather well. The great thing about mammoth steam engines, which you don't get with other steam toys, is that you can change the speed of it. Like I said, mine runs best in reverse, but it still runs rather well in forward once refilling the mass burner. I've got to admit, I do love the whistle with it as well. The wind outside when this was filmed was extremely torrential, so the steam did blow quite a bit around. We are, however, starting to lose steam now. So, I am back with an elastic band. So, let's get a running, shall we? And forwards. And it moves. Another great thing with the Mammoth steam engines, which I found out shortly after purchasing it, is that you can actually change how stiff the steering is by twisting the wheels around. She's now running in reverse. She runs quite well in reverse and not so much in forwards, but that's probably because the forward exhaust pipe isn't even existent on mine because it came off. And now we'll bring her to a stop. So then I hope you've enjoyed this short little video of my new engine, expect more steam engine videos in the future, and have a very nice Christmas. Goodbye.